Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're bringing the kittens to the vet and I'm really scared. I'm gonna vlog it because I'm sure a lot of other people who have kittens are probably scared too. Brian's here for moral support, so wish me good luck. So here's Mallory, she's playing with a sticker, I think. <laughs> but I have the carrier out. I've been putting some treats in the carrier since I got them, so they associate it with good times. But basically, I'm gonna put their favorite snack at the moment, which is salami, in there. And then I'm gonna click. I have their stool <laughs> sample prepared. I'm really nervous. We can do it, Brian. There's Scoot. Hi, Scoot. Aww. All right, ready? Ready? So I show them the prosciutto. I'm good. Get your legs in there. Okay, Scoot. Come here. Come on, this. Get it. Oh. Eat it in there. Eat it in there. All right, we got them both in. Scoot was a little bit better. All right, good kitties, let's go. You guys okay in there, little babies? The car ride went pretty good. They're being very, very good and chill. <laughs> I'm filling out the form. First checkup. Good girl, Mal. You're being good. This one looks clean. I'm still gonna put medicine on. Oh, this good taste better. I guess so. <laughs> good girl. This one's not teething either. It's okay. It's okay, baby. Good girl. It's okay. Being so good. with a few tips slash reflections of what I would recommend to anyone going to the vet, especially if you have little kittens and you're nervous. So first thing that definitely really helped is I associated the carrier with food, good times. I put little snacks in there every time I left. And every time they're in there, I have a clicker. So I just click and be like, good job and give them a treat. Another thing is my kittens like when I talk to them. Good girls. I've just been doing that since they were little, so I just really talked to them the whole time. I was like soothing them with my voice. They also like little nose boops. So I just kind of do little things that I think that help them remain calm. I think also just having me there was really good. When I first got my kittens, I put them in the carrier and Brian, my boyfriend, put his flannel in there. So they were used to his smell. So when they're in the carrier, they weren't that scared. It was really cold. That was the one issue that I had. Oh yeah, it was expensive. <laughs> so get some pet insurance. Really taking those two, getting blood work. I did a stool sample. Oh, speaking of stool samples. And this is not conducive to me filming. I can give her some space. <laughs> so I was saying they did find one flea on Scoot. So they gave both of them a flea treatment. Not really sure where the flea came from. We live in the city, so maybe like rats or something. So I got the flea treatment, I got blood work, I got the stool sample, and just a regular checkup weighing them and stuff. It was around $700. I do have pet insurance, so I would strongly recommend that to anyone who is going to go to the vet. But honestly, just try to find a good vet that's nice and quick and give them lots of treats when they get home. So I hope that you found this video helpful. If you want to know anything else about getting kittens. Ask me some questions down below and I'm proud of them. They did such a good job. So thank you guys. Make sure to subscribe. Mm -hmm.